It's showtime! Hey, yo, what up, Fight Wars? Your boy, Boxing Fanatic. I'm back with another one. So, the WBC has now arranged their heavyweight boxing ranking, which that puts Wilder at number one and put Anthony Joshua at in number two, and then Andy Ruiz drops down to number five. And what does that mean? Stay tuned to the video. Hey, yo, what up, you guys? It's your boy, Boxing Fanatic. Back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest content. So, the WBC has now come out with their new boxing ranking and from the the resources and from the look of things on the WBC website from Mauricio Solomon, he came out and stated that Wilder will be number two and Anthony Joshua will be number two. I mean, uh, I mean, Wilder will be number one. Anthony Joshua will be number two. And I know Eddie Hearns and Al Heyman and Deontay Wilder, they was trying to stage this fight over there in Saudi Arabia with Prince Khalid and from the look of things they not on the same page right now and Eddie Hearns is looking to I don't think they trying to fight Deontay Wilder in my honest opinion but that's another video in itself and we're going to get to that but as of now the WBC has put their their boxing ranking and changed all the dates well, all the positions for the heavyweight fighters. And they got Deontay Wilder at number one, Anthony Joshua at number two. And Wilder was trying to make that fight with Andy Ruiz. Talking about he needed 10, 10 M's to face Deontay Wilder. And Deontay Wilder was basically saying, you know, basically we, we giving you your biggest payday. Still turned the fight down. But for the WBC to uh, rearrange things and have the, the heavyweight division shook up the way it's looking like right now it's only one heavyweight right now that holds the wbc title the championship and that's tyson fury so and if tyson fury uh end up fighting alexander uzik or if he don't i'm pretty sure the wbc will make wilder his mandatory so then we will have a wilder versus fury four from the looks of things how the wbc have rearrange their boxing ranking and if they do that if they man that would be major because wilder one two and three with fury that was amazing the trilogy that third fight was epic the first fight was epic the second fight was a failure but man ah uh, and away from how wilder been putting in all the work right now with malik scott his head trainer the sky's the limit for him. I mean, we already seen his last outing. Anything that Wilder touches, he puts to sleep. And you already know that. And he puts you in airplane mode. Turn your lights out. Uh, man. But um, that's another, you know, here or there. We'll get to that. But the WBC has, you know, made their ranking. And that should put Wilder in a better position to get Sophia back. That's what he called the green belt. Sophia, he held it. He he had 10 defenses longer than Muhammad Ali. And that 10th tenth, tenth, that tenth, uh, uh, defense, that's when he ran into, you know, Tyson Fury. And they, they effed the man. So that's a whole nother story. I don't want to go back down memory lane, you know, because it is what it is. You can't bring back what has been done. And, you know, hey, we all love Wilder. We all love Fury. And we all got, you know, our own fighters that we love. Um, but, yeah, for the WBC to do that, that's major. And hopefully we can get one face, one name, one champion sometime. If not this year, then maybe 2024 because everybody been looking for Fury to fight um, Alexander Uzik. And that fight was supposed to happen between the both of them and everybody saying that Fury... You know, he's pulling a Jake Paul move now. He's trying to fight all of these uh, these YouTubers and, you know, MMA fighters and UFC fighters. Like, he's not trying to take no... He's trying to do exhibition fights and get paid the same amount of money 
for a regular fight. But Tyson Fury is smart. He felt like, you know, he done fought all the heavyweights that he can fight right now. And he felt he feel like he deserved, you know, more money, in my honest opinion, but for, for the less punishment. That don't work that way, you know. You gotta, I mean, if you're gonna be fighting, you gotta fight whoever they put in front of you. You can't make no excuses. You can't let the money get involved, even though I know, you know, it's called prize fighting. And they fighting not just for the belts, you know, not just for the pride. They fight for money too as well because, you know, uh, belts can't can't buy you things. Money can. And that's what it's coming down to in Tyson Fury's eyes. You know, he want that payday, even though, you know, he signed that contract with ESPN and top rank for a hundred million. Why they ain't never, you know, present something like that to Wilder? You know, get this man what he deserves, you know. He got the to me, I feel like he got the best record in boxing as a heavyweight. Nobody got the best record like Wilder. Then, you know, if it was my top, my top five, you know, heavyweights right now, I would put Wilder one. Fury 2, Alexander 3, Big Baby, Jerry Anderson 4, and then my fifth will probably be Zilly Zane or somebody like that. I mean, he's, he's a good fighter right now. Um, But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. All right. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. One love, one life. I'm out. Peace. If you enjoy content like this and you want to see more, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.